Hi, I'm Steve Goodman and on Practical 365 today we're going to be playing Spot the Difference between Microsoft Teams Rooms, Android and Windows. Now these are more similar than you might think but they've got some key differences that you need to know about as well. This isn't the full run through of every single difference between these two devices but I'm going to show differences in the user experience and the kit that you get. So we're going to start with the Windows device. Now these used to be big and bulky. This is the M. TR MVC 400 version 2 from a company called Yealink. I'm going to switch to this little camera here so you can see. And this comes with uh, basically one cable that goes to what is a touch panel. Now that's a Windows screen. So if I press on here uh, and I go to settings, then look at that. That is, that's, that's proper, proper Windows. Uh, I can even go to a full desktop on it as well. So if I press now out of there, then we're back to a normal screen. Now, Let's pop to the camera in front. Now, the biggest difference really between this and anything else is around the back of this, there is an Intel NUC. So there's a, a CPU that's uh, running full version of Windows. It's running Windows 10 IoT. Now, the look and feel of these devices um, can be very, very similar. So when we're saying play spot the difference, let me switch quickly over to the, the camera here again. And if you look at these two, you would really struggle to, to know the difference between them. In fact, it's, it's things out the back of these two devices that make the biggest difference in what you'll see. Now, these the Android devices started as collab bars. So I'm showing you a, a Windows one that looks like a collab bar, uh, which they're, they're more similar than you might think, right? And I'm showing you an Android one, an A20, uh, that started life as a collab bar, but has been uh, growing towards becoming MTR on Android. And some of the key things that have made this happen um, are the, the things that Microsoft and its, and its MTR vendors have been building together. So like a lot of these vendors, this this thing from uh, this vendor here, it's called a CTP18 and it's a touch panel. Now, whilst we had a touch panel there on that device, which was a Windows screen and touch panel with USB, it's got a HDMI in uh, through a USB-C port that allows us to, to plug stuff in. It looks very much like this one here, but this might look the same, but it's, it, it's different. Now, they both use Cat6 cable plugged into the back, but the Cat6 cable on an MTR Windows goes into the CPU device, into the NUC, uh, and th they're different. Some have loads of cables. The A-Links have just this one, uh, but that's really just a monitor cable, USB cable, and so on. Uh, whereas this, it, it's a, it, is, it is an Ethernet cable, uh, and it's using PoE. So once I plug that in the back there, that is plugged in to my wall, which is plugged into a PoE switch, and then that's going to start up. So I'm just going to stop the video, and I'm going to let this boot up. I'm going to switch the devices there so you can see them side by side. So we're switched over. Uh, or are we? Can you tell the difference? Uh, well, you won't at the moment because uh, although I have switched it over a little bit, I've not switched it over completely. So switch that over and you'll see that this has now started up. And if I take a step back, um, it's still getting onto the network. And I've plugged this in as well, and this is booting up as well. So they're both running Android, and they've both got to connect to the network and do their thing, which they'll, they'll do fairly shortly, but they're going through their normal boot process. So while it well, while it does that, uh, then let me just explain a couple of things. Right, What you can see there is that the difference in experience is, is fairly clear, right? So that one has a has one capability that's really interesting. You'll see that that's got my name on it, uh, Steve Goodman, because it's consigning in as a personal device instead of just a meeting room device. Uh, and the look and feel of it is different as well. So if you're having guidance for how this should work in a room, uh, what it will look like, what buttons to use, then you might have uh, some slightly different guidance because the theming is ever so slightly different. But I would expect that that's really going to converge over time as well. And of course, when this device itself boots up, although it's running Android, it's using a pairing process to then connect two teams to the service. Uh, and then because we paired these two devices together, much like you would do if you were going and, and using the pairing devices between a phone or you were using proximity join in a meeting, then it's paired this together. And the experience is, is roughly the same in, in terms of what you'd see in the room itself. So again, if I switch over to this, this second camera and we have a look. 
then side by side, then you would struggle to see the difference between the two because they are very, very similar in terms of their actual experience. So it's, it's, it's almost an impressive feat that we've got two very, very similar devices where manufacturers can build them in the same sort of form factor, but you've got the choice between Windows and Android. And it feels like Android is coming up from behind uh, and maybe it will, will win the race. Who knows? But genuinely, you would absolutely struggle to spot the difference until those things are switched on, at which point it's pretty obvious which one's which. But it's pretty amazing to see how close they are getting. Thank you for watching. And of course, tune in to Practical365 uh, by subscribing to us, liking the video, and jumping over to practical365.com for loads of articles, podcasts, and much, much more.